How to use follow up boss as a beginner. Hello, hope you're doing good. In this beginner friendly step by step guide, I'll be showing you how to use one of the best real estate CRM tools, whether you're an agent or you're on a team. I'll walk you through everything you need to know about follow up boss and show you how to set it up step by step so you can manage your leads, contacts, and communicate efficiently. Let's dive in. The first thing you will need to do once on followupboss.com, you're going to tap on start free trial. After doing that, you will be able to sign up using your Google account and you can create an account for completely free. After you have created your account, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. Once on your dashboard, the first thing I want you to do is you can start adding your contacts. To add contacts, you'll simply scroll down then from there, you can either choose to upload a CSV file or you can tap on add a contact and you could enter it in manually. And you can also select lead source right there, whether it has been referral or you can create your lead source. After you have done that, the next thing I want you to do is start adding your team members. To add team members, you're going to scroll down a bit more and you're going to tap on invite your agents and lenders. After doing that, you can tap on send invitations and this is where you'll be able to input their name and email address and also their phone number if you want. Then you can tap on add team members and you'll be able to add them. You can also change the roles by tapping right where you see agents. You could change the roles right there. Another thing that you can also do with follow up boss is you can start integrating your lead sources. To do this, all you will need to do is go to the top navigation bar and you're going to tap on admin. After you have tapped on admin, you're going to see the option lead flow. You're going to tap on lead flow. Then once you have done that, you can tap on add a lead flow right here. And once this is integrated, your leads will be automatically imported into follow up boss, saving you time and ensuring you never miss a potential client. After doing this, you can choose whether you like to use Zello or Realtor.com. So you could tap right there. Then you could input in the information or you can select my website or whether it is Facebook leads, Zapier or a custom API integration. You can select whichever one of these options. Once you're finished doing this, all you will need to do now, it is now time to manage your leads. To manage your leads, you can go you can do one of two things. You can either set up automations by tapping on automations right here and you can follow up with automations. For example, you could tap on add automation. Then you can see different options. You can use the deal stage. You can use stage change or property saved. You can use whichever one of these automation triggers or you could go back and you can select from one of the templates that they have right here. So for example, hot leads to lender, we can tap right there. After you have done that, you can see how the automation look. So once you have gotten a prospect, you can see the conditions right here. And if you would like to add something in between, you can do that by tapping on plus, you could add the action. If this is something that you would like to use, you can toggle it on in the top right hand corner and you'll be able to toggle on that automation. Another standout feature when it comes up to follow up boss is their email templates and text templates. With this, you'll be able to automate your follow up responses so you won't ever miss out on a lead. So if we were to tap on email templates, from here you can tap on all email templates and you can view them. Whether it is a case you would like to ask for a testimonial or you would like to use any other template, you can do that whether you like to use this one, the buyer nurturing, and you can see it right there. So there are numerous templates you can choose from, whether you'd like to retarget persons using email or you'd like to retarget persons using text. With these steps, you'll be able to automate your follow-ups in no time. Another thing that you also will love about follow-up boss is their reporting and analytics. For example, if I were to select reporting from the top navigation bar, you can see there are numerous features that you'll get access to. With this, you'll be able to increase your lead conversion rate. You can also 
see your email sent and open rate. So all you need to do once in reporting right here, you can choose whichever one of these options you'd like to view. Or to get a big overview, you can go over to the top left hand corner and tap on the follow boss sign and you'll be able to view everything from this dashboard as you can see right here. And this is an example lead that was added earlier on. And if I would like to, for example, automate a response, all I would need to do is tap on the contact's name. After that, I could tap on notes and I could add a note for this particular lead. After adding the note, if I would like to automate something, I could go over to the top right hand corner and I could set up a follow up call as you can see right there or a follow up text. I can select from any one of these tasks or I could add my own task by tapping on add a task, then put in the task name. Then I could tap on follow up and I can choose what type of follow up method I would like to use. Whether call, email, text, showing, closing or open house, I can select whichever one of these options. Then you can select the date and you can select the time. So with this method, you won't miss out on any potential leads or communication. And this is one of the major standout features when it comes on to follow boss CRM. You can also go down to the bottom right hand corner and you could create an account and you can create a recurring appointment better yet if you want right there. And that's basically it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.